round three of the Star Wars Destiny Regionals from here at 401 Games in Toronto. Uh, we're VTTV, I'm Travis. Uh, Victor is just finishing entering uh, the deck list for this round. Uh, in this round we have Jenna versus Lexia. Uh, we have a Sabine Yoda, which we saw just last round, against an Ayla. Um, yeah, sure. And we're not necessarily world connoisseurs, but we're the best we got. Uh, yeah, so we have Ray and Ayla on Alexia's side. Um, so as we wait for uh, Jenna's list to get entered, uh, we'll look at Alexia. Uh, she, as I said, she's playing Ray, uh, Finding the Ways, along with Ayla. And she's using Profitable Connection uh, as her... Um, as her plot, which gives her an extra resource at the beginning of the game, I believe. We already have Alexia getting out a few uh, upgrades on top of Ray. Uh, Force Illusion and uh, a lightsaber. So rolls in uh, Ray, showing three damage and a blank in the lightsaber. Uh, so Jenna plays out a blaster from the discard using Sibian's ability. Rolls out a seven disrupt total uh, across those three <laughs> dice. Uh, Alexia has no resources showing, so not the greatest roll. Rolls in Ayla showing a, um, two indirect damage and one melee. So it's four melee showing and two indirect. Jenna re-rolls Sabine. Uh, a little bit more reasonable now. Three damage, uh, three disrupt, and showing a blank on that uh, on the gun. Uh, Alexia decides to put that four damage onto Spin. Uh, another reroll. We see a shield and a resource uh, added to that three damage. Jenna takes a resource. Alexia does a two indirect, which I imagine are going to go onto Yoda. Uh, looks like it doesn't have the resource to pay for that lightsaber side, but... So it takes a shield. I assume that Alexia claimed the battlefield there, even though it hasn't been moved over to her side. That's why she took a resource at the end of the round there. Ooh. So we see the light bow coming out on uh, Ray. Ray's loaded up for bear. Force illusion onto Yoda, and then uh, Alexia rolls out in response. Showing uh, four damage, uh, two of those uh, a plus side, and uh, showing the special on the lipo. Jenna plays an easy pickings. Gets rid of that ra uh, that uh, melee damage. comes in with two uh, indirect and a resource. Uh, discards to reroll her dice. Kind of a extraneous four speed in a Yoda uh, special showing. Oh no, sorry, she hasn't still hasn't activated Sabine, so that's fine. And uh, now we have uh, Genesis coming up. And uh, they are pay playing um, 
Jenna's Battlefield, but I believe it's been claimed by Alexia. Figure that out in a minute. Okay. Anyway. <clears throat> so uh, one one thing I want to mention about Alexia's list when I was like printing, uh, when I was listing it out, it's funny. It's like lightsaber tribal. <laughs> oh yeah. Yeah. It's like it's got Obi Wan's lightsaber. It's got Ray's lightsaber. It's got Luke's lightsaber. It's got Obi Wan's lightsaber. It's like a, it's like an obsessive lightsaber yeah. collection. Yeah, so the battlefield's still over on Genocide. I'm not sure if uh, she had... No, no, so Alexia's rolled in, so it's still Alexia's battlefield. Rolls in some discards. Special on uh, the lightsaber. Resource on one of Ray's die. Pretty great there, showing eight damage between those three dice. It's way overkill for Ayla. Or I guess you can do. Uh, she can split it up. Yeah, still uh, overkill by one, but or no, yeah, still overkill by one. But I think that's a reasonable trade-off. Damage going on to Ray. Yeah. Five total, stripping off yeah. those two shields and leaving three on her. And so Jenna with four resources, seeing a hyperspace jump in her in her hand as well. So at the first sign of trouble, she can just basically uh, send things into light speed, end the turn before anything gets too ridiculous. So this is a, my ally is the force, I believe, that just got played on Alexia's side. So yeah, get to resolve, resolve the die without removing it from the pool. Do I judging by the hard shuffling? I'm guessing it's a discard. Maybe she's fishing. She's fishing for the uh, the hyperspace jump. That was a magic judge call. <laughs> Interesting. I mean, if she's gonna fish with the discard, I'm surprised she didn't yeah. resolve the other two. I mean, with things like second chances, hyperspace jumps. In hyperspace jump, you don't have very many dice left. It's not that big a deal. Yeah. And that's that's exactly what she does. She ends the turn. Retains control of the battlefield. Uh, now, hyperspace jump. I'm just going to bring it up. I can't remember if uh, you're forced to switch it or not. I guess. Well, so but you why? Why, uh, why not? My can you not do damage with my allies? The force. Like Sorry. why? Why not double resolve the lightsaber? Uh, I'm not sure. Maybe she's planning on doing something else. With I'm getting rid of Sabine. But uh, Alexia did have control of the battlefield when Jenna played that hyperspace jump, so she's going to be able to uh, get the first action here. Start, starts off with R2-D2. Yeah. Yeah. And we're kind of seeing a bit of a, a bit of a replay of last round, where it was a, sort of a slower kind of build-up deck versus a very fast blitz deck. Uh, so Jenna is going to... Uh, I guess this is act she's activating Sabine here. Yes. Yep. Overriding with the holdout blaster, which is interesting. Yeah. So this was she played the over the holdout blaster from her hand, right? No, she she went oh, fish for it. Okay. Alright, so she's gonna get the ambush action here. Roll it out. Oh, not very good. She does have one more action to uh, to do something about it. 
and that's a running interference uh, so that I guess Alexia cannot roll out her character in response. Running interference is a very powerful card, especially in this deck. So now Jenna, I think, is deciding what to do with her second action. Looks like a discard to reroll. <laughs> Try to get something a bit more devastating here. And this time she rolls a resource. Looks like a damage side. Yeah. Oh. So that's that's five damage showing, one face side. Uh, yeah, so sound the alarm from uh, Alexia to get her to reroll the damage. Comes back with just two. So it's uh, a, nice, a nice decrease for uh, Alexia. Second chance in Jenna's hand. I think that's her next play here. You know, so there's no surprises. No, instead goes for the discard to reroll. Disrupt side and another damage side. So now that Alexia is no longer under the influence of running interference, she gets to roll out her character. Uh, again, a very defensive roll. And Jenna's going to take this opportunity to drop down her second chance to... Uh, Before she has to discard it. She's going to hit it with the lightsaber. <laughs> yeah, right away discarding it. Well, at least uh, Jenna doesn't have any cash anymore, so she won't be able to resolve that two range damage side on the holdout blaster. It does get to throw its three damage on the way, however. Or maybe not. She's just thinking about what to do. So I have to reroll first. Uses the discard to get rid of her last card. Decides to burn the Force Illusion to prevent that two damage. Rolling in R2. <laughs> I, like, I like how in this deck the, the Yoda roll-in is almost like an afterthought. <laughs> it's yeah. Like, oh, I got, I got something left to do. I'll just roll in Yoda. Why not? Um, yeah, with the no blank sides of Yoda, though. It's just oh, it's so good. So we see a focus side there. She's able to, I think she, she's basically being able to sculpt her, um, her dice however she wants. So it looks like puts the shield on Sabine and then puts the, uh, onto the three damage side. Yeah. Alexia plays a... I forget the name of that card. I think I forgot to put it on the list too. There's a bunch of stuff on this list. Is it in the next is it on the right side? Is it all that stuff? Yeah, probably. I think it's uh a lightsaber training or concentrate, something like that. Anyway. Lightsaber pull? Oh maybe, yeah. Uh, no, no, uh, lightsaber yeah. pull, yeah. Yeah, okay. Moving on to the next round. Uh, does Jenna have her second second chance? I don't know if I see it in her hand. Uh, it doesn't look like it. So, if Alexia, if Alexia has the opportunity. She's actually really doing it. So, uh, Alexia's first action is that she plays out Luke's protection? Is that what it is? Yeah, I think something like that. Great piece of art. So you pay uh, three damage, a shield and a blank coming out from Jenna. So I see another hyperspace jump in her hand. Uh, she doesn't have the money to play it, play it however. Uh, 
stuffy looking dirt critter. Personate. No damage among your characters as you wish. Oh, that's pretty good. So rolls out of focus and a shield. Uh, with the money she has, she, she can just focus the beam. And go, oh, but uh, Lexi with a really good roll this time. Yeah. Lots of melee damage. Uh, Showing seven. Yeah. And which uh, is, which is more than enough to kill Sabine at this point. Yeah, I, th I think I think uh, Jenna might just play impersonate now. Yeah, just to move all the damage onto Yoda. Yep. Heads up play here. That's going to let Sabine survive for another turn. Of course, now... Yeah. It also gives the opportunity for the other second chance later on. Absolutely. So, Lexi is going to take this opportunity to take out Yoda. Well, at the very least, that's going to be uh, a removal of a focus and some very good uh, dice manipulation on her side. So, <laughs> it's a Ray versus Sabine now. You know, I, I, when, we, uh, when we first came into this match, I thought... I thought Lexi was on the back foot, but looks like uh, she's managed well, to. Looks like she's dead. A bit. Yeah, unless she has something. I don't even know if uh, Luke's protection saves her this time. Well, it, it does. Uh, okay. uh, actually, uh, uh, yeah. <laughs> Two health left on uh, Ray there. With, uh, with Sabine's acting advantage, though, it's going to be rough. Yeah, because I think, I think maybe what Alexa wants to do is she'll want to pass early, but then, you know, she still has to spend an action to roll out next turn, and then all Jenna has to do is do the activate Sabine, put an ambush upgrade into play, and then... Yeah. Really Jenna takes the resource. We'll do it. Yeah. And it looks like Alessia claimed the battlefield. That puts Jenna in the position that she can hyperspace away from something truly frightening. Yeah, once she gets her three resources to turn, right? Or maybe, you know, you just, what you want to do is you, you discard your hand. Oh, she's oh no, Maz's vault, okay. Are we still on? Oh, I guess we were on the previous turn, so, okay. Yep. Yeah, you, you probably want to keep the hyperspace jump, but also, like, with the running interference, maybe you also want to just uh, fish for a never tell me the odds. And I think she just drew it. Yeah, no. Yeah, it looks like she just drew the never tell me the odds. I don't think she got, uh, I don't think she has another second chance. Yeah. So here's a lightsaber pull on a. Was it another light? What's the purpose of another light here, Paul? Oh, no, sorry. She just discarded it from her hand, I think, to draw. Yeah, okay. That makes sense. All right, so here comes her, her roll. And roll, again. Not what she uh, wanted. Defensive, although I do see three damage there. It's not enough to kill her, but now Jenna, I think all she does is do her Sabine activation, yeah. follow it up with Never Tell Me the Odds, and I think that's it for, for Alexia. I mean, the only thing that needed to happen in that scenario was just as long as uh, Alexa didn't roll like a lethal roll, then she could, this line of play was going to be enough to secure her, secure her the win. So here's the activation, putting the DL44, making Alexia remove a die from her pool. Rolling in Sabine, of course it doesn't really matter what she rolls, because in a moment here we'll see a never tell them the odds. Combined with the running interference. Yep. And that just becomes whatever she wants it to be. 
Nine more damage is maybe a little bit of overkill. Yeah. Uh, but right. that's, yeah, that's good. That's game.